Hi all, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we'll learn how to set up double jump movement for our player game object. So in the interest of time, I have already set up the basic scene. So we have a ground with the boss collider 2D, a player object with the boss collider 2D and a rigid body. I have also created one script machine where I have designed how the player will be moving left and right as well as how the player will be jumping to this node. Now let's set up the double jump movement. For doing that, we first need to create one variable and we'll call it jump count so that we can keep a track of how many times we have jumped. It will be an integer type, let's keep it at zero. So now what we need to do is we first need to check over here if our jump is less than 2 because we only want our player to jump 2 times not more than that so we'll put 2 over here we'll pass it there. if this is true then only our player should jump and once the player jumps we need to set a counter or the jump count to be increased by one point. This. Now this is set up. Now there's one thing that we want to do. Let's go back. Now, once the player touches the ground, we want to set or reset the counter back to zero, the jump count. For doing that, we first need to create one empty object Let's call ground check. Let's give one box collide 2D to it. Let's do one thing. Uh, let's move it downwards here. Let's change so that it only touches the ground. Like this. Make it is trigger so that it triggers the events. After this, let's go back to our, before doing that, let's just do one more thing. Let's just create a new tag with name as ground. Let's go back, give ground object the ground tag. Now we'll head over to our visual script. Over here, we first need to create one more variable. We'll call it ground check of type game object and the game object that we want to select is the ground check of game object that is the child of our player game object let's go back now over here we want to call one node called as on trigger enter 2d the type should be of this game object and now we'll check if game object not get tag is equal to ground if this is equal to ground then we want to set the jump count back to zero That's it. Now what will happen once our player or our ground check variable triggers the, this particular event, this will check if the ground was there of the cloud collider has the object as ground, then it will simply set our jump count counter back to zero. Now let's head back and test it out. This one. Game window. One, two. One, two. So see, I'm pressing the space bar more than two times, but still it's only jumping for two. There you go. 
सो इन अ सिमिलर वे यू कैन सेट योर प्ले जंप फॉर डबल ट्रिपल क्वारपल और एनी अदर यू नो टाइम सेस वेल यू जस्ट नीड टू मेक श्योर दैट ओवर हेयर यू आर पासिंग द करेक्ट वैल्यू सो राइट नाउ वी वॉन्टेड टू रिस्ट्रिक्ट आर प्लेयर जम्प मूवमेंट टू ओनली डबल जम्प इफ यू वॉन्टेड टू रिस्ट्रिक्ट टू थ्री दैन यू कैन सेट इट एज थ्री नाउ फाइ गो बैक रन इट नाउ आर प्लेयर ऑब्जेक्ट कैन जम्प थ्राइस नॉट मोर देन दैट सो दैट्स इट फॉर दिस वीडियो I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.